Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain the structure of testng.xml file. Let me answer. So, what is the structure of testng.xml file? It contains a lot of tags like a suite tag, test tag, classes, class, and so on. Okay. To understand the structure of testng XML file, first we have to understand the tags. First, I will show you one example of testng.xml file. So this is how a testng.xml file looks like. Okay. So it doesn't include all the tags anyhow, but this is one example. You see, on the root root level, we have the suite tag. Under the suite tag, we have the test. We can have multiple test tags inside the suite tag. And inside the test, we have this parameter and classes. And inside the classes, we have the class tag and so on. Okay. This is how a sample testng XML file looks like. So let's uh, understand the structure of testng.xml file in a detailed manner. For that, first, let's understand the different tags that will be used in testng XML file for different purposes. So these are the different tags we have. First one is the suite tag. This is the root element of the testng XML file, as you already know. It's on the root level, okay, suite tag. All the remaining tags are inside the suite tag, okay? So it's the root, root element of the testing XML file, which includes all the other tags. Then we have the test tag. So this element defines a test within the test suite, okay? So inside the suite tag, we can have any number of tests. There's only one test here. We can copy paste this one if you want, like this, okay? And have any number of tests inside it. Fine. So we can have good number of tests. And you can have multiple test elements within the suite tag. That's okay. To define the test, okay? So we can uh, create the test tag. So you can give some names here, okay? To the test, uh, whatever the test you are writing, right? For example, login, login test, uh, register test, register test, register test, or register test, whatever it is, okay? Like that you can give some names. Then we have classes. Inside this uh, test, we have the classes. Okay, here I created one example. I'll copy this example and uh, you know I'll uh, show that in a XML viewer. XML viewer online. You take one XML viewer and uh, paste it there. And after that, just format it so that it looks good. Okay, so that you can adjust the size so that you can see. So here we have only one test tag. In real time, we can have multiple test tags. That's okay. Inside that, we have the classes. Okay. Inside the classes, we have the class tags. We can have multiple classes. Okay. Like this, uh, for example, here, one class is there. You can specify any number of classes here. Okay. Class, class, like this, you can. This classes tag can group multiple classes. So the next one is classes. This element is is used to group test classes that are, that contain the actual test methods. For example, these are the classes. Okay, so it doesn't have anything for now. Okay, any other project we have is yeah. For example, there are three things. Okay, if we include these three tests, uh, each and everything is a class. Each and everything is a class. Okay, login test, research, search test. You can specify them in the classes. Okay. The package name dot login test, package name dot register test, package name dot search test, like that. Okay. For example. So this element is used to group test classes that contain the actual test methods. Okay. So inside this uh, classes, we have test methods, right? If you go inside the login test, we have test methods. You see, this is one test method. This is another test method. This is another test method. Like that, multiple test methods will be there inside the classes. So using class tag, we have to space. We have to refer them. It is nested within the test element. This classes uh, is uh, inside the. This classes is is nested or is in the inside the test tag. Okay. Then you can include one or more class elements within the classes elements like this. Okay, one or more class. You can have one or more class elements inside the classes. That's what it's saying. The class, we just now understood, this element specifies a Java class that contains the test methods. So here, 
inside the class tag, you can refer to the class names, login test, register test, search test. Okay, each and everything is a class here. Okay, package name dot class. It is listed with inside inside the classes. Okay, that's okay. Then methods. You see here inside this class, we can have this method stack. Okay. So for example, if you want to uh, run all the test methods inside the class, then you don't have to go with the methods. Okay. For example, in the login, login test, there are how many test methods are there? Many test methods. One, two, three, four, five test methods are there. If you want to run all of them, then simply mention the package name dot login test. That's it. It will run all the test methods. Okay. But if you want to customize it, if you don't want to run everything and if you want to customize and decide which to be included, which uh, methods not be executed, which methods should be executed and all, in that case, we have to use this methods, okay? And use the tags like include, exclude. Include means, okay, let's say there are, uh, in that example, there were five test methods, right? Let's uh, paste this one. Let's write this. Include the first test method, second test method, exclude the third one, include the fourth one, include the fifth one. Okay. Out of five test methods inside that login test, you are only running one, two, and four, five. Third one you are excluding. Okay. Third one you are not running. Like that you can mention. Okay. That is the purpose of the methods. This element is used to group specified test methods within a class that should be executed or not executed. It is nested within the class. Yes, it is nested uh, within the class, right? It is nested within the class tags, okay? It's inside the class tag. You can include one or more include or exclude, okay? In this example, we have include, exclude, or multiple includes or excludes we can mention. Include you just now understood, right? This element specifies the name of the test method to be included for execution, okay? It is nested inside the methods, exclude. This element specifies the name of the test method to be excluded from execution. It is nested within the methods element, okay? It is nested within the methods element, okay? Include, exclude. Name of the test methods that need to be executed, include. Name of the methods that uh, should be executed from, that should be excluded from execution, exclude. Then we have parameter. This element allows you to define parameters that can be passed to test methods, okay? This element allows you to define parameters that can be so you can pass the parameters. For example, here you can pass a parameter. Okay. You can centralize the data. If one of the test method, okay, here in one of the test method requires this value URL. Okay. So instead of hard coding the URL directly in the test, uh, in this uh, class and the test methods, we can pass the URL and its value from test ng XML file. For that, we use parameter and that should be included or nested inside the test tags, okay? Then groups. This element is used to define test groups. If you want to run a set of tests as a group, smoke test, sanity test like that, if you want to group and then run only that particular type of test, okay? Then you can use a group stack. It is also nested inside the, okay, test tag. And you can mention the name of the group, okay? Of the test that you want to run. All the tests which uh, belong to this uh, group known as smoke will run. Okay, and there is one more like a uh, run. Okay, here run is something like this. Okay, inside the group, if you, if you want to mention the group that need to be included for running, okay, then you have to use a run tag, which should be nested inside the group stack. Along with the run, we also can nest a defined tag inside the group stack, and uh, it is to uh, you know define a particular group and uh, mention depends on okay for example this group doesn't run then this group also doesn't run okay because depends on is there okay define will define this group and it will make a group depend on other group like that okay so this is also nested inside the group stack so these are the different tags we have and uh, this is an example structure of text dot xml file this is like if you like this, several combinations we can create, that's okay, but it is one of the example that you can use in the interviews to explain the structure of the XML file. So that's all for this session. Thank you, bye-bye.